Okay, yeah, we're looking here at an IFM flow sensor. We're using this SI5001 flow sensor to turn on and off an ozone skid pump. This sensor can be used for other pumps as well to shut the pump off if we have no flow on the suction side of the pump. What you see on the display here is green lights going across the scale all the way to 10 and then an orange light which turns red if the green lights fall behind the orange light. That orange light is your switching point. If So again, if the green lights fall behind that, we would shut this pump off. In this case, on the ozone skid, our pump is behind us here, located on the skid, that black pump back there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly calibrate this to the water flow rate so it's more sensitive and shuts our pump off and turns it on when we need it to. What I'll do first is I'll start our supply pump or the supply water to the ozone skid pump that this is controlling. Now with water flowing across the sensor, what I can do is I can calibrate this to the actual flow rate. In order to do that, I push and hold the arrow that's solid, or the right arrow, for five or six seconds until I see only the number nine green light flash. When it flashes, I release this arrow right here. I'll demonstrate. Okay, so what you see now is that the green lights are all the way across the scale and then I can adjust the sensitivity of the switching point by pressing and releasing the left or the right arrow and then going ahead and pressing it to wherever I want to locate it. In this case, I want to have my switching point at about 75% of my total flow. So then if I were to shut water flow off to the pump, I fall behind my switching point and it will shove my skid pump off. Let's try it in real time. We'll turn the skid pump on and make sure it actually functions. Skid pump's running. Water flow all the way across the scale. Pump shuts off. This sensor is a stainless steel probe that goes into the pipe. It needs to be cleaned on a regular basis. It doesn't need to be recalibrated. When you pull it out, you should check it every three months at the very least. Uh, when you pull it out, you would hold a nut that's fitted into the pipe with a wrench and you can then disconnect this other compression nut with another wrench. You can pull that entire sensor out and then you would clean it with something like CLR. You're going to end up removing any calcium or mineral buildup that's on the stainless steel sensor. Put it back in and make sure that it's still as sensitive as when you initially set it. If it's not, it may just need to be cleaned again or you could go ahead and go through the process of recalibrating it.